Hello everybody. Uh, today we will do some calculations on this uh, very famous uh, series uh, k to uh, k from one to infinity. Okay, and then one over k squared. Okay, this is a very well known result which converges to the pi square over six. Okay, today we will use a very interesting, okay, interesting method, okay, to derive this result. Okay. We will require a little bit uh, knowledge about compass number, okay? Uh, very simple idea on uh, differentiation of integral, okay? We will get this uh, idea. Okay, now, we consider this more challenging problem, okay? We attach, attach uh, x here, okay? So that this become a function, okay? So we named it. As fx, okay, fx, fx. Now we know uh, from the infinite series, okay, this function is actually defined, okay, when x is less than one. I mean, uh, the modulus of x is less than or equals to one, okay. So this problem is just we want to show f of one is actually pi square over six, okay. Now, we want to get these uh, functions um, to be calculated, okay? How to do so, okay? Now, we notice that we know for log 1 minus x, there is a series, uh, a recurring series x, uh, re representation, okay, which is minus k to uh, k, from start from 1 to infinity, and then uh, x to the power of k, and then over k. Okay? This expression looks very similar to this one, okay, except that here is k, here is k squared. So we want to make it to become k squared, okay, how to do that, okay, we just divide it, okay, and then here will become k minus 1 over k. After integrations, okay, we can raise this uh, power by 1 and then get another k here, okay, so that will, this will become k squared, okay. So here, we perform the integration from 0 to x, okay, and then here, also from 0 to x dt, okay. Here, we can do nothing about here, so, but this one, we switch the infinite sum and the integral, okay, so this will become here minus and then dk minus 1 over k of dt, okay? And then, what we get here, this will become t to the power of k over k, and then start from 0 to x, okay? So, after the plug in, we got x to the power of k over k squared, which is our original uh, function here. So this is minus fx. So we know that this infinite series, okay, got another integral representation, okay. So fx is actually zero to x, and then log of one minus t, and then t dt, okay. At this stage, we got an integral representation of the same function. Now, our next steps is to construct a relationship. Of this function we add different value okay so when we plug in f minus x okay and then we perform the differentiation okay what is this value okay uh, for the differentiation of the integral it is very easy we just plug in this value into the um, integrand okay by like this rule okay of course we here we plug in minus x so this will become zero minus x log of one minus t over t dt. We plug in here, so that will become one plus x over minus x and then minus here, and then we have to perform the chain rule, okay? So that will become the minus one. And then what we got here will be log 1 plus x over x, okay? Now, what if we put 
f of minus 1 over x okay and then we perform the differentiation that will become minus 0 minus 1 over x and then log of 1 minus t okay we just copy this now we plug in this value into t okay so that will be become log of 1 plus 1 over x and then here minus 1 over x here and then we perform chain move on this guy which is 1 over x squared okay and then after uh, simplification the minus sign cancel out what we got here will be log 1 plus 1 over x and then here will be x here okay and then of course we notice that this is just 1 plus x and then minus log x and then all together over x now the interest, interesting thing is that for well, this is 1 this is 2 if we just add 1 and 2 okay we will see that this guy will cancel this guy okay they are the same okay except this the, the second part okay so what we got here will be the differentiation of the f minus x okay the derivative of f minus x plus f of minus 1 over x okay will become minus log x over x only okay so we integrate both sides okay so what we have is f of minus x plus f of minus 1 over x is just log t over t dt okay but this guy is very easy okay because 1 over t is just the derivative of log t so it will become minus 1 half log square t and then we add back the integration constant okay now we want to find the value of c okay so we try to put some values uh, I'm sorry there are some mistake here should be x here okay we put some values inside this equation okay put x is just like 1 okay so this will become f minus 1 plus f minus 1 equals to log of 1 will be 0 so this will become c so c is just f minus 1 times 2 okay times 2 so up to now we got a very interesting functional equations about f okay which is this guy all square x plus 2 of f minus 1 okay now we we could okay find the value of f minus 1 okay then we can get the value of f1 okay so we have a look on f minus 1 here okay but for the very beginning uh, our definition for the fx is just the um, uh, the infinite series okay of this one of course this the x value is uh, in this uh, region okay now we are totally uh, legitimate to put x is minus 1 into this series okay because this is in its definitions okay so this will become minus 1 k and then over k squared if we write it down okay it is just minus 1 over 1 square plus 2 2 square minus 3 square plus 4 square and then etc okay now we notice that okay here is a plus sign here and all the all terms are minus so we want to make all the terms consistently in minus sign okay so that will become this one but we have to add back 2 times 2 square plus 4 square plus 6 square and etc okay the rearrangement of the terms in this absolutely converging uh, sequence is totally uh, allowed okay so it is okay so we observe that there. this is just the one one square two two square three three square and then we factor out the extra two terms here 
So v will become 4, and then here will become 1, 1 square, 2, 2 square, 3, 3 square. Okay, now we notice that this is just f1, okay? Here, another f1, okay? So minus 1, 1 half, so we will have minus 1 half of f1, okay? So we got a very interesting result here. f of minus 1 is actually minus 1 half of f1. Okay, now we go back to see uh, these functional equations. Okay, if if we put the minus one into this functional equation, okay, this will become f minus. Okay, we put x minus one. Okay, into this guy. Okay, this will become f of one plus f of one will be equal to minus one half log of minus one square times two of f minus one. Okay? Now here two f one here. And then we know log minus one is just log of e to the power of i pi. Okay? For the principal value, okay, we know that this is i pi only. Okay? I pi. Now here becomes minus one half and then i pi square which is minus pi square and then 2 here and then minus 1 we use this equation to put inside here okay so we will have minus 1 half f1 here okay the 2 and 2 cancel we got the minus f1 here we go back here so we'll have 3 f1 here and then this will be pi square over 2 so f1 will be pi square over 6 okay of course f minus 1 okay will be minus pi square over 12 okay so very beautiful let's just summarize what we got here okay we got f1 is pi square over 6 but uh, f1 is actually k start from 1 to infinity 1 over k square okay we got this very celebrated result okay and then for the f minus 1 okay f minus 1 is the pi square over 12 but minus sign if we we call fx is just k from 1 to infinity and then x to the power of k and then k square okay so the first term start now is the minus actually, okay? So if we put back here plus add one more add one more minus sign here, okay? This is the alternating sum, okay? That will become pi square over 12, okay? Another result here, okay? Okay, uh, that's all for today. And actually, okay, fx it's just a disguise, okay? Actually, fx here is called a dialogism function, okay? With this definition, we just, uh, just use uh, fx to replace this uh, famous um, notations, okay? To make the reading more easier, okay? And everything will be the same, okay? Now, we know this result, okay? This result is very important, okay? We will make use of this result for uh, the future use, okay? In case you don't know this, okay, this will be a very variable information, okay, to learn. Okay, thank you very much for this video, okay. Uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.